Okay, so this is a follow-up to the Supergrass record that I, uh, oh, sorry, the first record store day or August drop, and regarding the Supergrass 10-inch uh, single that I bought. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm just, I'm just reading this note that they sent me. Do not order from Banquet Records in, in the UK. I'm not exactly sure where they're based. I, I didn't do that much research, but do not order from them. They are, they have bad, bad service. Okay, so um, I ordered it days, days after the like after the 29th of, of August, you know, when the record store day was probably on the 31st or 1st of September. It is currently the 25th of September. And I'll tell you why this video is take the records that they dropped took so long to make is because it took it took three weeks almost four for, for that supergrass record to come here and 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 it wasn't the shipping's fault it was their fault so they sent me this note and I would, I would i'll just read it to you it's not so relevant but anyway hiya thanks so much for your order sorry we aren't able to do our usual personalized note at the moment don't care about personalized note i just want my record we put, uh, we're running a selection, a, uh, a skeleton staff, to, I think that's what that said, like, that, that is what that said, I don't even know what that means, running a skeleton, I thought it said selection, but no, it says skeleton, it's a, a, uh, skeleton staff to protect you, protect everyone, and it's one person per room. We don't feel comfortable opening the shop, but we're running a car park collection service. If you're local, you can choose to pick up your order from the rear of Banquet. Hope your delivery is a bit of normality in these strange times. I hope your delivery is a bit of normality in these strange times. There's there's a note, uh, Banquet Records, it says there, dot com. I don't know where they're based exactly, but I know they're not near me. I can't, I can't go local and pick it up. They took two weeks to dispatch my item, which is which is ludicrous. You know, obviously I know things are a bit weird now, but two weeks is a long time for for an established shop. That is a long time. There are people on Etsy or, or on Redbubble, which will do which will do much quicker, regardless if there's a pandemic one or not. You know, it doesn't take two weeks to. You know, I'll show you the packaging. They did. It's, it's just this, it's just this one pre-folded box they have. Like it's not like something special or anything. It was literally just in here, and they had some rubber bands over it. You know, um, they so two weeks. You know, so that was, and then for some reason an additional ten days for to deliver. I'm not going to blame them because obviously that's not up to them, but. You know, still, like, what the hell? It, it, it was ridiculous. Not only is it is it just very, um, very lack, la uh, very uh, lazy, uh, you know, to, to, to say the least. Um, the, the service they provide, the shipping is cheap. The reason it's cheap is because it's not tracked, which is very annoying. When it is something like this, and it's taking so long to, to order, I was wanting to... Um, you know, know where it was, and 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 I couldn't, which which I don't. Obviously, if it was if it wasn't so late, I wouldn't have had to worry. But it, it, the fact that it was makes it quite um quite infuriating and quite worrying as well. It's a record that can be damaged. It wasn't massively expensive, but I would still prefer to to not have it broken. You know, it's still money I did spend, still something, and it's a limited edition thing as well. So it's not something I can easily get a hold of. So that was very annoying. Um, I would I would suggest if you're going to have untracked shipping, be more organized. And also, it's not only that, um, there was no place on their website, <clears throat> two more things, no place on their website where you could, you know, put in put in your code for your order and it would tell you what's the latest update. There was none of that. They would it was it was it was very um very disorganized like it, it wasn't helpful at all and they would send me emails like very 
their emails were bad. They had bad emails. They they gave me update emails, but it wouldn't. It, it, it took at least a week for them to acknowledge my order. I think at least a, at least a week for them to see that I have ordered something, and then another additional week. I think I, I think another couple days to maybe package it or something. I don't know. They gave me emails, but I didn't know what he was telling me. Like I don't know what he was saying. It, it would say your order, and then, I wish I could show you these emails, but I'm not putting enough effort into these videos to do that, um, and I'll show you the dates and everything as well, but anyway, bad communication, that, that's a, that's the bottom line, um, there was nowhere for you to, to easily check your order, and they weren't supplying you with the knowledge that you would have needed to check on your order, uh, or feel, you know, reassured that it's not broken or being ignored or you know something like that and then the second point is i went on their website actually it sort of ties into the earlier one i went on their website and it said um there was the only restrictions i had due to covid19 was shipping abroad and it said it said it said on their website it should take two to three days for them to dispatch an item and then like an additional two to three days for the postal service to come here and have it delivered to me, and like I said previously, there are there are independent shop owners and independent you know uh, s sellers that that will do that far quicker. You know, they, they, it didn't even you know, I don't know why it took so long. They they said they're advertising that it's not going to take that long. That it's going to be normal prices, or normal times, obviously excluding abro people abroad. Um, so, so just like what the hell, you know? Like there, there was, there, there is no excuse. There is no excuse. You were advertising there's going to be no problem. Um, people in lesser situations than you. This is an established shop. People in lesser situations than you are doing a better job. And and then you know it's like I was tempted to go down to my post to my post office and ask, do they have this? Um, just to see, because obviously they're it just is unreliable. They're they're even more unreliable, but um, especially now, you know, they they're unreliable before, but especially now, um, and I wouldn't have had a problem. But yeah, this note doesn't tell me anything. Like they like they they wrote this note knowing that they've taken two weeks to dispatch my item, and there's no sorry. There was no like complimentary thing. Like they just so yeah. So you know, I, I'm annoyed basically. I'm a, I'm a, I don't know if they were getting lots of, lots of, um, no, no, even if they were getting lots of shipping, they don't have an excuse, because, because they advertise there would be no problem, and people in lesser situations are doing a better job, so, that's, that's where I stand, um, don't, don't order from them, sure, go in, or you can't go in shops, but, uh, pick up something locally, if they're gonna do that. But don't order from them because they're not they're not a good service. So um, I hope this may have informed somebody. Probably not though. But um, yeah, don't uh, bad service. All I can, all I can say all I can say bad service. Um, so yeah, I hope you may have enjoyed this video possibly. Um, but otherwise, uh, like and subscribe, share or something. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.